welcome to my channel my name is Zeni R and I'll be doing my skincare routine with you so if you watched my previous previous video when I was doing the black face mask thingy I spoke about my own brand uh, La Padera handmade so today I'll be using that mostly for my skincare so here I have tea tree soap for to help with the breakouts because I haven't been consistent with my skincare so Oh, I had a breakout this rain though, but I hope you can still hear me clearly. So the soap is this color. You see it? What do I do? It's like white at the bottom and then clear in front, on top, and it's written handmade soap and it's tea tree soap. I don't have the packaging because I don't want to waste it. Business is business, guys. Ne? I can only get one bar of soap a month for myself which is my reward for working for La Padera but who's checking so and then I also have this this is uh, this is the pattern on it this is sweet goat milk soap for the glow I'll be washing my body with it uh, just to help with the dark marks cell lines and stretch marks and yeah I'll also be exfoliating and then here I have a mixture for my scrub the bowl is back uh, I have a mixture, mixture, mixture. I don't know. Like when I talk to you guys, things go left. But I have Himalayan salt at the bottom. I hope you can see the pinkish thing. And then I have regular salt and sugar. And then I have uh, turmeric. And then I also mix the Himalayan salt with uh, what's this? Apple cider vinegar and a drop of apple juice. I'll be adding, um, what's this thing called? It's the thing I showed you. I'm going to show you when I'm doing it. I'm going to add this so I can uh, do my armpits after shaving. And then my elbows and my inner thighs. That's where I use this mixture. For. Let's start with the face. I don't know. I first wet the soap. Ne? And then I just... It really foams up well. So, but since this is the first use, it takes quite a while. But look, already. So, I, I really love, love, love this. So, it's like the best thing ever. I'm gonna look at it on my face. I don't say I love it because I made it, but I really, really, really love it especially for my acne oh. like i'm gonna show you since you've seen that before i'm gonna show you that like after like two days of using it i'll have okay next week let's see next week i'm gonna show you my face see and there's not even much water on it and this is how it looks now because people are gonna say i'm lying <laughs> Since this is the first day back using it, I like using it as sort of a mask and then deep cleaning with a face brush. So, uh, I'm gonna be using this brush. Please don't mind my pen. This is the pen I use for my makeup. So there's like foundation on it. I can't find my purple one. So this is the brush. Uh, it's a little, like you, you you insert batteries in it, but I'm really not into it because it gets too rough for me when I have batteries in it, and I just like using it manually, like just like controlling the speed and stuff. So I'll wait it, and then like it's so it's so. I think I should bring it closer. Edit. I don't like being too rough with it because that also like causes irritation so that's why I don't like using the electronic version of it. I think I should buy like the manual ones then. So I don't have to waste this one. And then it 
really foams up nicely and doesn't really dry the skin because you you know when something like has a lot of foam it tends to dry the skin and then here you go after using the brush i wash it out and then dry it with my face cloth just so it doesn't have water and it stays with old water and dry like you know that disgusting stuff now i'm gonna wash it off because i don't want to i don't want it to stay too long on my face i don't know why but this is how i do things i like washing my face under running water but i don't like the the thought of using the same water over and over again to cleanse my face giving soon okay so after after that is done i want to carry on onto this so i'll be in the shower and i do this so i'll first shave and do and then wash with my soap and i'll be using the gloves for this you're going to see it in the shower and let's first mix this up okay yeah? this is what i was talking about it already has like small particles, but it's not as rough as the salt and stuff. So I just put in like a small amount. And then now I didn't bring something to mix with. It's so tricky. Do you have anything here? Please. I don't want to leave you guys alone. Oh, makeup brush, makeup brush. I'll mix with this make a brush in it. Let's mix it up. Now I'm gonna see. It's like I don't know how to describe this texture, but it is what it is. It's not there yet. But don't don't add while still mixing because it might just get too wet and the salt dissolves and it's a mess. I think this is the right consistency. Don't mind my bow, guys. It's been through a lot. It's been through a lot. And I love this bow. The fact that you can heat it up just sells me the whole thing. So, yeah. This is the correct consistency. It has to look like this. Because it's still, like salt and sugar dissolves really quickly. So, it's best not to wet it a lot. Like a sugar scrub. Believe it or not, I've never bought a sugar scrub. I've just always made my own. So I need to try it out. I need to try it out. Okay, now. Let's go to the tricky part. Being in the shower and showing you stuff. <laughs> okay, let, let, me, let me try. Because, like, demonstrating it out here is not, is not gonna give, so. <clears throat> hmm. Should I keep my sports bra on so things are easier? Because I'm just like, when I'm showing you my armpits, how is it gonna work? I'll figure it out and then get back to you. I'll, I'll just, let me think it through. Um, that's I'm not trying to set up floor, guys, because I just realized that I can't show you without a sports bra, everything is gonna be out there. I just hope my sports bra doesn't get stained. So I'm in the shower now. I'm sure you can hear the echo. So I brought this in and I'm going to put it by the corner. And then um, my soap is here and my shaving stick. Uh, I sometimes use a body wash for shaving my armpits and then whatever. I'll just see. So now anxiety <laughs> so anxious but for now i'll just close the door and then start showering and pretend like 
You guys are not watching. <laughs>
but I can't tell you what's in it. So that's what I'm gonna use now. I used to use um, a toner from this other brand. It didn't do well with my skin. I didn't throw it away though, I just put it aside. And maybe I might add a few ingredients to it so to deactivate others and activate others. You know that whole thing? So I can use it again because I spent quite a lot of money on it. Um, now if I want, if ever I want to tone my skin, but now since I still have like oh, I don't do it really. Um, I add apple cider vinegar and water, then just do it on my face. Yeah, and then serum in this moisturizer. I'll just put pictures, proper pictures here because I don't want to show my stuff because the customer gets the proper cute stuff, the expensive uh, packaging and since I don't really pay for it, I just use whatever I have in the house. So I'll just put a picture here of the products. You see how, how close my hand looks after? This, this glow. <laughs> and then it's time for the sunscreen. I got this, this is like the cheapest one at Clicks. Um, I like the Nivea one. It's it's really oily, but I love it. I've always used that one at home. My mother used to like buying that one a lot. So yeah, I'm used to that one. But this one also helps. Just don't apply directly on your skin because of you know breakouts and stuff. And also because it's gonna leave you gray. So just do it on your hand. Warm it up a bit. And then I don't mind being so shiny because I'm indoors and I'm staying indoors. If I'm going out, obviously I'll have makeup on top or whatever. So I'm not going to be as shiny. If I'm going out, I just powder my face with translucent powder and then give it matte ish for the day because I have really oily skin as well. So yeah, well. Um, and then the Johnson Johnson I showed you last time, it also mattifies my face sometimes. and gives it a little dewy a little dewy look but it's still matte so also that one um i just lost my thoughts now it's this rain i hope you guys can hear me properly because i'm just stressing that i'm talking and you can't hear me but this is the final look everything's sealed in let's hope the dark spots go away soon and my face goes back to being cute again. Um, this towel, this towel. I uh, think you saw <laughs> I did a mini video about my armpits. They look cute. They they're not as dark because of the mixture, but don't add salt. And then I use a uh, dub for my armpits. And then this is the body mist I have been trying out. I'm an also heavenly girl. But I tried this out from just came and it's okay. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's, it's really, it really smells nice. And then, bah, my favorite. I like this one. It's affordable. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't even use, need to use the magnolia oil, but I use it because of habit. But I love, love, love this one. I started using the Nivea Firming with Argan Oil. It's like 110 something it's really expensive and i loved it and then i saw this one when i was broke and i've been using this ever since never gone back so let's go to the body oh another thing i forgot to talk about is this acne i get on my chest it really bothers me especially it comes back in summer i don't know what causes it so but so i try my best not to to use normal lotion here and use my magic in a jar so it, it's it, it sort of keeps it tame and I try not to put like perfumes on my chest body sprays body mist or anything with fragrance here so that's the life I live like my, my I don't like hugging people and putting them on my chest because ah, the smell is not there it's usually here so Okay, so now I'm done.
done with lotioning or moisturizing or whatever and then it's time for a body mist so as i said i don't put any fragrance stuff here so i will just add it onto my neck my arms my tummy <laughs> and my legs as well so it's like spread all over so yeah and then that's it and yeah it's dripping from my chest nonsense but anyways just rub it in there i just let it sit there and dry on its own because if i rub it i i notice that it just fades so i let it sit like this and then it's gonna dry in like a minute and then oh, i forgot to match on saying it's in gazi and then boom how it starts to smell it <laughs> okay yeah i think we're done so since it's raining and it's cold i'll just dress up warmly if possible i don't know or put a gown over whatever i'm wearing and then go mix myself what am i making myself i think i want to make green tea coffee or a latte so i'll see i like blowing kisses to you guys my hairline oh it's got to be i i had done ages yesterday so but my hairline was fading <laughs> see you soon hello <laughs> yeah so i'm in the kitchen now and i've decided on having this it's like the best of both worlds like i have a green matcha and it's creamy and so i keep me warm so yeah let us let us i'm still waiting for the kettle to boil but for now i don't even have nails just cook it days and i didn't wanna do another set early break so I like this small cup for this, so it's concentrated, like I can taste it, I can, you know, if I use a bigger cup than this, it's sort of weak-ish, so I like it like this, I like this cup for it, and then let's, let's wait for the water to boil so long. Can you hear that? The water is boiling now. And it only gets louder. Yeah, it's getting spoiled now. So I'm scared to hold it like this. It's a bit hot. What do I need? I always do my first one. I can see here. delicious it smells delicious it's just what I needed and let's go in this is how it looks even has foam it's just cute it's just cute I'll just sit down now and enjoy this and then move you guys back a bit yeah thank you so much for chilling with me and doing my face and body whatever skincare routine with me uh tune in for the next episode next week monday thank you thank you thank you so much 